Hey guys, what's up? Tech5 here, and uh, today I'm going to do a comparison between the two uh, drives that are on the market the SanDisk, which is 500 gigabytes, and the G Drive, which is 500 gigabytes. Now, there's a lot of speculations between these two drives right now. Which one is better? SanDisk has a 550 megabyte uh, write speed, while the G Drive has the 560 megabyte write speed. Is that a big difference, 10 megabytes? No, it's not. Uh, now, then it comes down to portability. As you guys could see, pretty much the same size. G drive is a little bit thicker. G drive says that they're sturdier than sand disk, or weather resistance, water resistance, but sand disk as well. Um, so, which one should you buy? Honestly, it really does not matter at this point. They're both amazing drives. Uh, this one is much more portable because it's skinnier but the main thing is let's see which one writes faster I'm going to upload a file from my MacBook to both drives at the same time it's a 50 gigabyte file it has all my Fujifilm uh, videos and pictures and let's see which one finishes quicker uh, technically the G drive should finish 10 seconds faster uh, than the sand disk, but let's put it to a real world test and see which one is better and faster. Stay tuned. Now, the sand disk came with uh, two cables USB C to USB C, and then they provided the USB C to USB adapter. Now, the G drive came with a USB C to USB cable as well as the USB-C to USB-C cable. So they both provided exactly the same cables. Everything is the same. No biggie, right? So let's plug them in and see which one writes faster. We're going to be using for this test a USB-C to USB since this is a 2016 MacBook Pro. Alright guys, so opinions matter if you could show that SSD drives are connected through USB-C. Alright guys, and as you could see, they're both in this corner. You have the G drive right here. And then we got the SanDisk. Let me show you guys the info. This file is 54.62 gigabytes. Hopefully you guys can see it right over there, 54. Alright guys, so since I cannot drop the file at the same time to both SSDs, I'm going to drop the file to the SanDisk and then to G Drive. Technically the G Drive should catch up because it's going to be less than 3 seconds uh, delay, but let's find out. So the test starts in 3, 2, 1. Alright, there you go. Alright guys, so as you could see right here, G drive is on top, uh, SSD sand disk is on the bottom. So far, I mean they're really on par, like the two seconds, three seconds behind each other. Uh, so technically the G drive should surpass the uh, sand disk uh, by the end because it's extra 10 megabytes a minute so let's find out to my eyes actually G drive is falling behind it was one gig apart now it's almost two gigs apart And right now, the G drive is falling behind almost 3 gigs, even though I started them less than 2 seconds apart. Um, so, where's the write speed that I'm supposed to be getting a little bit more on G drive? Let's keep looking though till the end. This is really interesting. 
as you guys could see, uh, G Drive is copying 84 items. The SanDisk is copying 71 now. So it still hasn't caught up. Still about two gigs behind the SanDisk. Even though, as you guys could see, the G Drive is catching up on items, but that's because one item weighs less than another one so you see how the sand disk just skipped to 19 because the pictures take faster to load than the videos interesting guys so the G drive never cut up and sand disk just finished and uh, this is about five seconds behind instead of two three so it actually I want to say fell a little bit behind uh, let's do an, one more test now I'm going to upload the same file to G Drive and then I'm going to upload the same file to SanDisk and let's see if the SanDisk could actually catch up so let's try that let the test begin in three two one All right there goes G Drive and there goes the SanDisk so the G Drive this time is on the bottom so if you guys take a look at gigabytes the SanDisk is actually catching up right now it's 0.30 gigabytes behind According to our previous test, SanDisk should finish exactly at the same time, maybe even a second before the G Drive, but let's find out. Yeah, if you guys could see, SanDisk just passed uh, G Drive in speed. Uh, SanDisk is at 20 gigs now, G Drive just hit 20. So SanDisk actually has faster writing speed for some unknown reason even though if you guys look at the boxes and the description G Drive shows 560 Mbps per minute while the SanDisk shows 550 Mbps per minute so still it's a close race but the SanDisk is clearly yeah actually the sand disk now fell behind by few not even a gig point 10 gigs so this will be an interesting race okay now it passed G Drive So if you guys look at the, the items, it, they're exactly synced. If you look closely though, G Drive's item downloads a little bit slower than the SanDisk's. 18.18, SanDisk went to 10, G Drive barely went to 10. So yeah, guys, if you see that correctly, SanDisk finished faster by about 2 seconds, just like the previous test showed, while the G Drive fell behind, even though I did the same file transfer. Alright guys, so the end result is that G Drive actually fell behind the SanDisk. Why? I'm not really sure. If you guys know the reason why, comment in the link below. It's not a big difference, so what it comes down to is the feel and the look. To me, I like the look of the G Drive because of this blue um, ascent, I guess. Um, but yeah, they'll perform exactly the same. Alright guys, so that was it, two most popular mobile SSD drives on the market, SanDisk, G Drive, both 500 gigs, SanDisk won the test in this test, in the speed and write, um, but it's your preference, leave me a comment below which one you go and get, I'll have the links for both of them down in the description, you could get them from Amazon, 
So give me a big thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching this Halloween special. See ya.